Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I've got another nerf video for you and for quite a while now for like two weeks on my channel you could see these like short jokes a folder with all of them you will find over here so go check that out and now to the nerf part so I've got a few new nerf blasters so let's go and see them and I've got the Nerf Mission Oops pack. So there are a total of four, four Nerf Blasters in here. There's the Cobra, a T-style priming handle with a six round drum, pretty cool. Two of these small jolt-like pistols. They are called Stingers. And as I said, there are two of them. This quite a big one. It looks like a shotgun. It's called Tiger. These two like half of cans or like bottles that you can be put together. And now it's like a target and when you shoot it, it like um, explodes into these two halves. It's pretty cool. More on that later, but spoiler, it doesn't really work. And in this compartment over here, there are 25 of these yellow darts. So, yeah, that's what's in the box. It's uh, connected with these, like, wires. You just snap them off with scissors. And the box it itself is pretty cool. It has, like, these darts over here. Here, a big Nerf logo. Here number one number one blaster brand here you can see the darts alpha strike 31 pieces and on the back it's pretty cool as well you have the blasters painted you have the stingers the tiger and the cobra and about some parts about them like two three one over here which are then in the manual to see which is which and yeah, it's pretty fun for somebody who just started Nerf because you get quite a lot of Nerf Blasters and ammo with it. So now a review on each blaster. So first the two Stingers. They're practically the same thing, only that this edge over here on the back, I could feel that this is a little bit, a little bit sharper than this but uh, except for that they're really the same blasters you just get two of them and you can dual wield them like so and then grab two darts and get them but it's more efficient to just have one nerve blaster and a bigger one and now as you could see you put the t-style priming handle and then shoot with this trigger it shoots pretty good. I'll show you the firing later. And rear, the trigger, it's really smooth. I quite like it. And when you like pull the trigger, I don't want to shoot out this dart, so I'll show you on this. This uh, like whole black piece over here, it moves and this thing like pops a bit up. So sometimes when you have the hand there, it like pushes into your hand. So sometimes it can be a little bit annoying that there's something pushing onto it. But for a kid, it's quite good. But for an adult, this is quite small because my hand can fit pretty good in here. But a bigger hand, he will some he will have to put his finger like over here down because an adult won't fit his whole hand in here. And it will just hurt him if he would try. But this it's like really cool you can even see in some points like a little bit inside over here you can see the spring so when i pull it it compresses and you can see the plunger tube so it's pretty cool that you can see a little bit inside and then it just like shoots and when the dart and the blaster was brand new a little problem was that this uh, barrel isn't like big enough so the darts would slide in a little bit slowly and sometimes when i would push a bit more they will like bend in there 
So now it's quite good. Uh, the doors are a bit more worn out, so they fit in better. But before it was a little bit of a problem. And now you just pull it down and then fire. There are no rails or tactical sights. But there's this like little cosmetic piece. And yeah, these are pretty cool. So my like backup shots, you can have them loaded in your pocket or things like that. And just take them out and shoot or even dual wield them. And just, yeah, have fun with them. So this is for the stingers. Now for the Cobra. So it's a bit bigger than the Stinger. And it has a big grip also, so it's better for big hands. I, when I don't have my finger on the trigger, I can fit it pretty good. When I put it on the trigger, it has some space there. And yeah, it has six darts over here that the cylinder moves when you pull the T-style coming handle. Like so. And now you can shoot once. And the trigger pull is quite okay. It's like, yeah, it feels a bit cheap because the Alpha Strike series is meant to be cheap. And when you shake it, you can feel that something is moving inside it. So it's not that like, it doesn't feel like a good Nerf Blaster, but it's fine. It shoots okay. And also like in the stinger when you can see inside through this hole you can see inside a bit through over here up from the cylinder but on camera it doesn't show really that good but in real life you can see a bit in there and again there are no tactical rails or sides even though this could be used a bit like sides but not really it's just a cosmetic piece and here it's quite some like geometrical shapes over here really to save some plastic and you could rest your hand over here but it's better to have it on the um, priming handle it's similar like in the quad rod it has it's pretty much the same thing but from the like sides it doesn't have these like apocalyptic like screws in just one piece and also the barrel doesn't uh, spin so good like in the um, nerf hammer shot here you can freely spin it like this but here it makes a clicking sound which is quite annoying so i would not really recommend to do that but yeah it's a pretty cool pistol it can fit six darts as I said and you just front load it like so and a similar problem that I had with the singers is that the darts go inside quite a little bit slowly so I just didn't want to bend them to go fast I just put them like so and then press down on all of them at once but now it's okay it just when it's like brand new for like two days so yeah, you've got it loaded, you prime, and now you shoot. And it makes quite some noise when you prime it, if you can hear. Like something is like turning inside, because when you prime, you uh, move the cylinder, and everything has to be ready for pulling the trigger. And yeah, it shoots pretty good, even though that is quite like cheaply made. And this like whole thing is quite nice to handle. It has like six darts, so you can fire quite some before you have to reload. And it's really fun to just shoot at. And now the biggest one, the tiger. And this is pretty cool. It looks like a shotgun. You prime it like this and shoot it like this. But it's quite big if you can compare it to my body. like this it's almost same as my arm over here so it's quite big it's a bit difficult to put it into the frame i'll just have to rearrange the camera so yeah that problem is, is fixed but as i said it's really cool and on this side you have the priming like door over here but it only has two doors that you can put over here so you put them in like 
this now you cannot really see them but you put it in like so now you prime it like a shotgun and it shoots one prime it again and shoot the other but as i said it's only two it would be really cool to like shoot like maybe like five times and that would look something like this So if that didn't look cool, I don't know what. So yeah, it's also quite cheap. You can see that there are no screws. It's just like clamped together like this. So it's quite like feeling that it might open, but I'm sure that it won't in the next like some time, like maybe two years then maybe. I'm not sure really how this will handle. And yeah, it has really that shotgun uh, style of look. It has like these double barrels over here. And then the door that you can put the two darts in there. Then this like, pump action. And this like cool handle over here. And the, uh, the fire rank, it's a little bit different than normal Nerf Blasters. Because blasters like, for example, the Cobra, when you put the trigger it moves like it moves like down on the top it's like uh stick in there like kind of and it moves around that but with this it moves from this like stick thing is in the bottom so when you push it up it moves like this when you push it down it doesn't really work because over here when you push it this thing over here like bends and then it presses the trigger so when i first handled it i was always pressing it down and it didn't really work so i have to press it like up to fire so that's another thing to get used to and the handle is the same as in the cobra the same like kind of the uh, really nice texture texture over here and also these like geometrical shapes all over to say what space and plastic and you can also see a little bit through these holes into the plunger tube, but not much. Like in the Cobra through over here or the Stinger. But yeah, it has like a, a kind of handle or maybe for a sling mount over here. Like this part. I don't know really if it's a handle or just what is it. Like kind of like in Batman when they like hold it like this kind of and then they shoot but i don't know really it's yeah it's a cool blaster you will look like some kind of like terminator if you've seen the film when he just stands up there and kind of like from the that like video that i showed you when i cut in between the reload like a while back and yeah that's pretty much it it has just a like kind of handle over here on the top but it's not meant for that no sides or anything up here feels a bit cheap but overall really fun now for the darts they're practically the same thing as the nerf elite darts just different color they're the same height the same like tip just this is yellow this is blue and maybe the color of the tip is a little bit different but not much really you couldn't really see it it's just pretty much the same and now for the target so these are halves of these like bottles you put them together it's a little bit hard sometimes to put them together but now where the problem comes when you want to shoot at it and put it on like a table or something so you put it there and it doesn't stay together so it just opened like this i can show you again from the side you put it together you stand it and now it opens sometimes it even falls apart so it's sometimes a little bit challenging to shoot at it 
but now when you take for example the stinker the dart move it a little bit aside make sure it doesn't break and now you shoot at it and it breaks like so so yeah it's pretty cool but it it doesn't work like as it should but it's still fun and when you have it like a bottle it feels pretty cool when you hold it by the neck and then you smack it on something and it breaks like it's quite fun when you walk up to someone and then just smack it on their head and just oh my god it broke from your head and yeah you could like make fun of someone easily so yeah that's it for like the introductions to the nerf blasters and now let's see it fire so this video is really long and there's a still long way to go with the firing so i'm going to break it into two the first part is the review you just saw it and to see the fire rank, click over here and you will see the fire rank and what I'm saying after it to just end the video. So, as I said, click here to see the videos, the video, and click here to subscribe and to see my channel. So, for now, bye and the fire rank will come out soon.